Hello guys, my name is Sharmin and today in this video we will be uh, looking at how we can download a uh, node and how we can install it on our system and how we can set the environment variable to use node from anywhere on our system. Okay, so uh, the first thing to do is we will have to download node from its official site that is node node.js.org. So I will put the link in the description box below. So this is the official site of Node from where you will download download Node. So I have Windows, so I will uh, download it from Windows. If you have Mac, you can go for Mac, or you can download the source code. So yeah, here you have different options. So I choose this one to download it for Windows. This will give me the latest version. Okay, it includes npm 8.1.2. All right, so it is getting downloaded over here we have a dot msi file let's wait until it gets uh, downloaded so yeah it's the download is over so let's just click on it okay so this is what we get over here right welcome to the node uh, dot js setup wizard wizard and then you click on next you accept all the terms uh, in the license agreement here yeah, if you wish you can read them but yeah so accept them go to next and then here see the path where it is getting installed that is in our c drive program files or node.js okay so you press uh, next just keep everything as default automatically install the necessary tools note that this will also install chocolate the script will pop up in a new window after installation completes uh, let's not install that we don't need it so we don't take this let's just let it be uh, and yeah if you want you can download it but uh, for the basic node setup we don't need it so yeah we click on next and we click on install we say yes we want this app to make changes to our computer and we wait until it and we wait until it gets installed okay so yeah uh, let it get installed and uh, wait until it is getting installed uh, so yeah, it is completed. So now we can uh, say finish. All right. Now what we can do is we can go into our my computers, go to the C drive, and here you see program files, and here you have a uh, Node JS. Okay, so this is where your Node JS got installed. Correct. Okay, so this is where our node uh, got installed, right? Now, let's open CMD, command prompt or also you can open PowerShell, whatever you are comfortable with and here let's try uh, node-v. So yeah, we get that our uh, node version is uh, version 16.13.2, okay, the one that we just downloaded. And what you can do is you can go over here, double click and here you get your uh, node terminal open. So you can use this for uh, all the commands, all the node commands that we want to write. Okay. Now in your case, it might be that uh, in the PowerShell over here, uh, you might uh, not get this. Okay. The version. You might not get the version okay being detected. Uh, it might say that uh, no such command exists. Okay, so there are times that this happens. Now to solve that problem, you um, set an environment uh, variable. Now in my case, I am not facing the problem because I, because I already had uh, environment variable set up for it in the past. So. I removed it, I tried removing it but it didn't work so it is not showing any error to me but yeah when I freshly downloaded node that was a problem with me as well so to solve that problem we will see how we can set up an environment variable so that our node works properly and it doesn't uh, show the error if it is showing to you. Okay so to set up the environment variable what you will do is just click over here and just copy the, this path. Okay, that is C program files and Node.js. Okay, and then uh, open the click on the start button on your uh, keyboard, and then here you can write uh, environment. Okay, so the first option you get over here is edit the system environment variable. So click on that, go to environment variables, and here you can see one option that is path. Okay, double click on the path, and you can see I have 
a lot of path setup. This is for Python again, Python over here. This is for uh, VS Code. This is for Java. Okay, this is for npm. That is a uh, Node Package Manager. Okay, so similarly, just double click over here to add another path, and you can just paste it over here. Alright, and in some cases, uh, you might not have them written like on the next line. So in that case, what you can do is um, you can use, uh, for example, let's just do it over here. You can use a semicolon and then paste the path over here like that. Okay, if you don't have your paths mentioned in different lines, so this can be a solution for that. And after you add the path, you can press OK and ok over here and ok over here as well and now you can refresh ok uh, and now you can try and go to command prompt or cm uh, powershell whatever whatever you are comfortable with and type node minus v and see if it's working ok so uh, if it is still not working then i suggest uh, restarting your computer because there are times that um, restarting helps and it starts working if it is uh, even after setting up the environment variable if it shows an error then you can try and restart your computer and uh, the error will be gone for sure and if it still doesn't go that, uh, then there might be some other problem so uh, yeah uh, this is how you download node and you set up an environment variable uh, now what exactly an environment variable is um, for example, if you download something, okay, uh, let's uh, take an example of Git for example, if you download a uh, Git on your system and you want to access the Git command from anywhere or your, on your computer, that is when you use an environment variable. Okay, so for example, if you don't have an environment variable set up for Git, what you would have to do is you will have to migrate to the folder where your Git is installed. Alright, and then there you have to open the command prompt and only that folder it will be where your git will work. Okay, same with uh, Java as well. If you want to run your Java program files, then you have to go to the Java bin and then make your folders over there and then you have to run your um, programs in that folder only then only it will run. But if you set the Java bin or the git as your environment variable if you set that path as an environment variable then you will not have to migrate to that folder to uh, run those commands okay so this is a reason why env environment variables are used you can set up anything as an environment variable and once you set it up as an environment uh, variable then you can use it from anywhere on your computer okay so uh, yeah if you guys don't know how to use the command prompt or the uh, powershell then i will make a video on that as well uh, about how you can use um, command prompt and what are the what are a few benefits of using it and yeah if you want to become a javascript developer backend developer then I suggest you learn the basics of using command prompt because every uh, package that you need you will have to use the command line to download it and also if you uh, want to learn Git then you should know the basics of command uh, prompt or PowerShell in Windows uh, so that you can upload. It becomes easier for you to upload your um, Git projects to remote repositories and also it becomes easy for you to manage your um, git repositories on your computer using the command line command line makes things uh, really easy like yeah of course gui is way more easier and user friendly but uh, yeah our command prompt has a uh, way more power than our gui there are things that we can do using the command prompt but not necessary that those things can be done using our gui if you guys don't know what gui is then it is our graphic user interface the friendly thing that we see on our computer those icons and all those things those are our graphic user interface okay like that is our graphic user interface so yeah uh, that's it for today uh, hope this um, video was inform informative and if it was then don't forget to press that like button and also subscribe to my channel i'll be coming up with more videos related to web development and also um, a few informative videos like uh, this one 
about environment variables and a lot of more things we have in computers so uh, yeah thank you so much for watching and let's meet in the next video until then take care and bye guys